it's time to get up. Tent sleeping is fun until it's not. It was only like 51 or 52 degrees last night, but on Lake Superior, 51 or 52 degrees, I don't know. I mean, you look on the uh, weather app and it says, feels like 51 or 52. They're lying. It feels like 21 or 22. I mean, I slept in my, my, my jacket. I slept in my clothes. I got my hat out this morning. I am freezing. Another thought. As you get older, well, men, let's have a little conversation here. As you get older, you know, it's no big deal when you're at home to get up and use the bathroom every 90 minutes. But when you're camping and it's cold and the the little Johnny House privy is, I don't know, like three or, I don't know, it's, it's at least about 500 feet down the path. And you got to get up, put your shoes on, put your little headlamp on and try to navigate through the woods to get there in time. And you do that like five or six times during the night. Oh, good Lord, help us. <laughs> help us. I got to find warmth. You know, we get a little fire going and fire makes warmth. Warmth makes everything much better. I want you to just look at the clarity of the water. See the rocks, the colors down there below? Wow. It's morning, it's on Agawa Bay, which is just off of Lake Superior. And behind me is where we camped at. And in front of me, you see the beautiful water of Agua Bay. Uh, cold this morning, as I've already told you, cold, pretty cold. Well, cold to me, I lived you know, almost a year in Mexico and it was nice and warm there, toasty. Uh, before we hit the road, we've got a long day today, about six hour drive, we're gonna cast about 12 cast out in the water. We'll just see if anything here will bite other than the mosquitoes. Leaving Lake Superior Provincial Park on the eastern shore of Lake Superior, where winters are very cold with plenty of snowfall. The park sees about 432 centimeters or about 170 inches of snow every year. I'm told that snow may still be on the ground into the month of May. Summers are slow to start. August is the warmest month, but the average high is only about 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. At Agua Bay Beach, the water temperature is usually cold, and by mid-August, the lake will have reached its warmest with a surface temperature of around 68 degrees Fahrenheit. In the park, you may see moose, white-tailed deer, gray wolf, and black bear. We're headed today to Sleeping Giant Provincial Park, still just off Lake Superior, but on Thunder Bay. Where is this, ask my friends from the USA. Well, if you'll find Madison, Wisconsin on your map, draw a line due north. You'll find our destination. We had hoped to have caught some fish for breakfast, but instead we're driving into Wawa to get some breakfast before today's long drive. Before being known as Wawa Township, the area saw fur trade back in the mid-17th century. Gold has been mined here as well as iron ore. In 1899, the modern-day Wawa was surveyed and registered. Most of the mines have long since been closed. Today, they see most of their income from tourism and forestry. People travel here for sport fishing as well as snowmobiling. At the entrance to the town, we pass the metal 28-foot Canadian goose. That is certainly something to see. Today, about 2,700 people call Wawa their home.
asked a local where we should go for breakfast, where they like to eat, and they suggested the North of 17 restaurant. The food was delicious and the service was excellent. Let's take a quick look at that 28-foot goose, shall we? I also want to show you some of the beautiful flowers that I've been telling you about in the previous episodes of this trip. One thing that makes a six hour drive here so much better than a six hour drive in a lot of places is that there is very little traffic. It's peaceful. In some cities, especially during afternoon traffic, it might take you two hours to drive only a few miles. That's insane. That is the opposite of peaceful. Sometimes you drive through areas of Canada that are not very impressive, but it is to get to scenery like this. Lights shining from the window late at night. I'm just watching someone else's life go by, wishing it was mine dreams everybody has them at the start somewhere along the way they fall apart and it makes it kind of hard to look up at
to hold on to the road. We all have a reason to let go, and it's easier to do, but it's better if we don't. As we entered Sleeping Giant Provincial Park, we soon realized that the road, which curves and meanders throughout the wooded park, seems to go on forever and ever. After a while, though, we were greeted by something that we did not expect to see. I've seen plenty of fox before, but I've never seen one come and sit beside the car like he's hitchhiking and needing a ride to town. Oh well, as cute as he is, I am not going to roll the window down and pet him. We checked in at the ranger station, set up our campsite for the night, and went to bed a little earlier as we had had a long day on the road. In the next episodes, we're going to see more wild animals that I think you maybe have not seen before. As always, we appreciate you joining us on the journey. If you would hit the subscribe button, like, and share, it would help us grow our channel. Thank you. Hope. Try your best to hold on to the road. We all have a reason to let go. And it's easier to do. But it's better if we don't.